Glitches are becoming more and more overlooked in game development. And in this video, I wanted to talk about the biggest game breaking glitch in my game. All right, so this is the game I'm, be I'm going to be talking about. It's a uh, dumpster diving simulator. It's still not 100% finished, but I still wanted to talk about some of the most annoying bugs and errors that I've had while working on this game. All right, so one of the things I want to talk about is something that I've, I've never really seen this talked about before in like any tutorials or anything. But if we just go into my error report, you'll see I have a lot of infinite yields possible. So for this one, for example, uh, city map, boss area, wait for job, boss spot. So if we go into Roblox, so this is what it looked like. I had it in this boss area folder, but I somehow got an infinite yield on this. Even though it's right here, I somehow still got an infinite yield. So how would that even be possible that I got an infinite yield on something that is in the game right there? And the answer is mobile players. You see, people who play Roblox on mobile have this amazing feature called streaming. What streaming does is if you can't see an object, it won't actually render it. So uh, a good way to actually display this is if we go into view and then if we go to wireframe rendering, you'll see all this stuff you see uh, right here on the back, uh, things popping in and out of existence. So that's basically what streaming is. Now, how is this an issue if you are trying to reference it? So whenever an object is streamed, you aren't able to actually access that object anymore. So Whenever you're testing your game, you won't be able to actually see this at all because on PC, everything's usually rendered, but mobile devices are way weaker. So they have to stop rendering them so that it actually can have enough FPS to play the game. So this is a pretty big issue that I ran into is because I don't see the errors whenever I'm playing it, whenever I'm testing it. So how can we work around this? A little trick that you can use is the replicated storage. So if you put an object into the replicated storage, it'll be rendered basically no matter what. You can still access it no matter what. If it's, you know, 4 billion miles away, it'll still be there. So what I do, so we'll take a sleep prompt. We'll take sleep prompt. So the sleep prompt is this one right here, uh, the tent. What I did for this is I move it into the replicated storage and then in a script, I access it while it's in the replicated storage, so right here. And then I do everything I need to, so I need to set up the prompt, I need to set up the prompt whenever it's triggered to sleep. So I set everything up, and then after I set it all up to where it needs to be, I go ahead and then put it back into the workspace. So everything will still work, basically as if it was just in the workspace the whole time, but you won't have any errors whenever you try to reference things. This is one of the most annoying bugs that I've come in come into. Um, I've never really seen anyone talk about it other than that replicated storage thing that I talked about, but it's not a, it's not a too terrible fix. If you guys have a better fix for it, just let me know because I don't know if mine is like my fix is optimal or not. All right, that's about it for this video. I really just wanted to talk about that object streaming thing. If you guys want to check out this game, it's called Dumpster Diving on Roblox. Yeah, but I'll see you guys next time.